This is Surfing Through Cinema. I'm your host, Hawaii Harry. Today with my brother Hunter, we will be discussing the next and last film for Action Week, which is the superhero genre. Okay, Hunter. So, this week we're talking about superhero movies. Right. So I'm going to tell you my five that I chose. Yeah. So the first one which also happens to be my favorite one, is Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, I like it because the music and the characters are fantastic yeah. and really relatable. And I think it's Marvel's second best movie. Never did I know that a naked raccoon could have such an emotional impact on my heart. Exactly. Or a stick. Or a stick. Yep. Yeah. yeah. There you go. So that's Guardians. Mm -hmm. Number two, I picked... Spider-Man, the Tobey Maguire one, mm -hmm. and the I picked one. yeah the very very first one, and I picked it because this is I'm pretty sure this is the first superhero movie I ever saw yeah. as a little kid because mm -hmm. I was like I want to say four or six years old when it came out yeah I remember Spider-Man too because I had a bunch of toys for it yeah the Doc Ock uh huh with the broken arms and I remember we left like a mask for it in the car while we were at Chuck E Cheese. And it always was warped, <laughs> so like <laughs> it never fit right on the That's face. Funny. <laughs> I really like Dude, it. We only went to Chuck E. Cheese like once in our life. <laughs> I know. I'm pretty sure that was the one time. <laughs> the food was so gross. Yeah. Like the slides and the. I don't remember it at all. No. I just remember lights. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I went another time, but. That's the only one I really remember was mm -hmm. for that birthday party. Right. So it's very nostalgic for me, this one. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's probably the one I've seen the most because we yeah. used to watch those movies all the time. Yeah, we'd always binge them. And, uh, you know, the third one is my least favorite, but I think the trilogy as a whole is pretty good mm -hmm. compared to, like, other series that have three movies or more. The Hobbit. The Hobbit, yeah. <laughs> the Hobbit, Superman. Superman. Um, <laughs> dude, I don't remember any. No. Anyway. Well, that's okay. The only thing I, when I I watched this was one of the ones I watched. Tell me, McGuire is a little bit more whiny than I remember him being. Mm. Like he's on Anakin level of whiny. Oh, like little orphan Annie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's funny. He is an orphan, so it makes sense. Yep. But other than that, mm -hmm. I thought he was good. Yeah. I haven't seen those movies in so long. Like, act, like since we moved, I haven't seen them. So it's been They're a right there. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what does that, what does that have to do with anything? But, I don't know. All I remember was I was super scared of um, Willem Dafoe. Oh, yeah. Because he, like, just goes insane. Like, in the, first, in the beginning of the movie, right? Doesn't it open with him, like, turning into the... What, throwing it's a guy pretty, through glass or whatever? It was pretty early it's on. It's pretty early on, yeah. Yeah, that always scared me. And then when he... There's like a little jump scare when he like comes to Peter at the very end of the movie when he gets stabbed. Yeah. And he like appears. Always gets me. Even now it probably still get me. But yeah. It's not even. Well, there's It's like a, weird. He's like yeah. goofy. He's not even like, I don't know how you take him seriously. He's kind of wacky. Uh, but back then I was like, he's three I don't know. But. Yeah. Well, one of uh, the funniest parts in it, not funny, but kind of creepy really mm -hmm. was, so it shows, um, Norman Osborn after the fact mm -hmm. and he's like laying on the ground and Harry finds him and he's like shaking him awake mm -hmm. he's like dad you okay he's like I can't remember what happened then all of a sudden it cuts to him yeah. in the lab it's like ah and it's like really <laughs> freaky you're like oh I didn't remember that so yeah. and I had the audio pretty loud isn't it it was like ah in the third one too doesn't his son start having like terrors in his yes. house yes yes he like sees it, his dad and in the he like sees him and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's super creepy. The heck? The heck? What is his name? The director Stephen Raimi? Sam, Sam Raimi. Sam Raimi. Oh, speaking of that, I saw a lot of like Easter eggs for The Evil Dead and all the other movies that he made. Really? Uh-huh. Like, like all um, Peter has movie posters from those movies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then uh you got uh Bruce Campbell in it too. He's like yeah. the the wrestler announcer. Oh, really? really? Yeah. That's awesome. And Peter's like, I'm the human spider. He's like, no, that's a stupid name. <laughs> <laughs> I present you Spider-Man. That's funny. That's, 
That's Bruce Campbell in that movie? Uh, yeah, that shows how long it's been since I've seen it, because I wouldn't have known it. Yeah. Um, so that's Spider-Man. I only know him from Bird Notice, but... <laughs> right? <laughs> I love... I think he's awesome in that. All right. Now, the third one I picked was Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. um, I thought that was a really good one. Wait, what was the first one? I thought you started with... No, you started with Guardians of the Galaxy. I started with Guardians. <laughs> Wonder Woman He's paying such... attention over here. Hey. Wonder Woman is such a good movie. It's. I think it's the best DC movie in a very long time. Because all the other ones, like Suicide Squad or mm -hmm. Aquaman. <laughs> okay, Aquaman I have problems with. Suicide Squad... I get everybody hates it. I understand that. Like anybody who's not a critic or is a critic, like can't stand Suicide Squad. But I like the flashing lights and pretty cut. Like I don't even like. For <laughs> some reason, usually I'm all like high and mighty about movies. I'm like, oh, I can't watch this. This is too stupid. But for some reason, Suicide Squad, I'm like, I'm ready. I'll sit back. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I think he really liked Harley Quinn. So anyway. <laughs> I thought the villain was really weak, though. Yeah. Um, what was Ares the guy from, or whatever. Yeah, the guy from Harry Potter. Yeah. It was like at the very last minute, you're like, oh. Yeah. I don't remember what I thought when I first saw that, but then when he gets like, he start, he like he's like the weird buff Ares guy, and it yeah. makes you think of like, even now later, like the Justice League enemy. Like, they're yeah. all kind of just the same They look dude. the same. <laughs> <laughs> they're all gray. I don't know. Like uh, Doomsday in... Uh, Batman versus Superman, right? Like, yeah. What is yeah. that? Just big gray dudes who like blow stuff up. I think I saw a YouTube video with like visual effects artists talking about that. Mm -hmm. How every single DC villain looks like a gray slug. Yeah, it's <laughs> that's funny. It's true. They all look disgusting. Because uh, DC is real has grit. Yeah, gray means evil. <laughs> and the fourth one I picked. This one I didn't pick because it was an actually good movie. Mm -hmm. I picked it because it's like a guilty pleasure. Um, Batman and Robin. Batman. <laughs> guilty pleasure every time that leather booty comes on screen. Oh, yeah. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> Does it like four times. Yeah, so. Okay, that, those movies, I totally agree with that. that is, that's another one where I'm willing to just sit back. Batman uh -huh. Forever is kind of pushing it. Actually, no, I'll sit back with that one. You don't like it as much, but... I don't like it as much just because it's not cheesy enough. It's, like, mm. it's still a little serious at some parts. Mm -hmm. But this one's just... Yeah, when they do the acid trip, like, <laughs> gang fighters, like... Okay, that's actually my favorite part. When I was younger, mm -hmm. I loved, it. like, the, the neon colored crap yeah. and stuff. I was like, like, that's so cool. I want to be in a gang like that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's like, you look good enough to eat. <laughs> Okay. Are they cannibal neon well, it just, people? <laughs> it just reminds me. So in in Hook, you know how they like have all those colored foods? Yeah. <laughs> and it's like super appetizing. I think it's the color. Because I then those guys, is. I'm like, they probably eat what they'd have in Hook. <laughs> they never grew up. <laughs> they never grew up. <laughs> it's a horrible film, guilty pleasure, but I love the puns. Mr. Freeze's puns. Like, it's like, <laughs> what killed the dinosaurs? <laughs> the Ice Age! <laughs> Uh, and they're watching that, that um, <laughs> what company was it that made all those like famous um... oh the stop motion ones yeah I have they're no watching that one movie yeah alright Mr. White yeah. Versus... <laughs> it's yeah. the the heat guy versus the not heat guy in Santa Claus it was like... he goes to a city I just watched that in creative writing in December it's a pretty weird movie. Yeah, I couldn't pay attention. I was kind of bored, but I think it's funny. Anyway, sorry. Yes. Or or how he's wearing, like, polar bear slippers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's chilling. He's chill. Yeah. Well, he's, like, in an ice cream factory. <laughs> it's like, is that what that is? called shelter. Wait. Yeah, they have, so like, when, an ice when cream Batman, factory. When, when Batman pushes... It's ice cream. <laughs> I never knew that. Oh, I, on, this whole time, I always thought it was some, like, chemical. Mm. No, it's ice cream. What the heck? <laughs> I think the whole frozen wife thing is weird, too. Yeah. Because she's just there, and he's like... It's like, it's trying to give it... His wife-sicle. His wife-sicle. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody made a pun about that. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't like uh, Poison Ivy, though. 
I think that is the one thing I think. Who plays her? It's um, Uma Thurman. Uma Thurman. As I told Lady Freeze, this is a one-woman show. <laughs> uh, actually, that used to scare me, too. In the very beginning of that movie, when she kisses the guy. Yeah! He, like, dies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yes. What does the, the bat card mean? <laughs> oh. Because that's in that movie. When she walks on the dudes. I just thought that was so weird. And it plays that same, ah, uh, song <laughs> in the background. And she's, like, walking on the guys. Yes. Um. The Bat card, so they're like betting on different women because it's for charity or something. Yeah. And so Batman and Robin are like entranced by uh, Poison Ivy. So Batman's like, I'm betting seven million. I got a Bat credit card. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it's Visa or something like that. Yeah. It's MasterCard. No, yeah. No. <laughs> Maybe it's American Express. I can't I remember know. what he says, but Probably. it was really stupid. That's funny. That just reminded me. I had, like I was watching In the Fugitive. Uh, they were having this like gala for all the rich people, and they're like selling ladies. I'm pretty sure that might be a fugitive. I'm I don't pretty remember. sure at one point, yeah, they're like it's the wealthy people. It's at the beginning of the movie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought it was so weird because it's like this is a charity to help children. We're st- <laughs> with strippers <laughs> with strippers. I was like, <laughs> like these are like the the rich, the high echelon people, but they're like, I want to go on a date with this lovely. I don't know. It's just weird. <laughs> I don't know. Thing. I really like the gorillas and stuff. <laughs> oh, so and, she's <laughs> and the Bane isn't one of them. And she's yeah. like, stop monkeying around. <laughs> that movie. I need to go watch this. Yes, I just bought them all. That's why oh I was able to. We have them all. Oh. all. digital. Yes. I need to watch. Is Batman on your list? Like Batman? Did no. Batman? I, I decided I didn't want to pick too many from the same yeah. universe. Mm-hmm. I did pick a lot from DC, I, I realized. Because <laughs> the last one is from DC as well. Um, well. So far you've done two Marvel, two DCs. Yeah. I couldn't find like a middle ground one because there aren't a whole lot that aren't Marvel or DC mm-hmm. that are good yeah. <laughs> or worth watching. Right. But the one I picked was the very original Superman. Yeah. With the Christopher, with Reeves. Christopher Reeves. Ooh. That's the one. I'm pretty sure it's the very first popular superhero movie. I really like it still to this day. Mm-hmm. Go watch it. <laughs> um, the the opening crawl the with like the the space and the letters the that letters are zooming, zooming up to in the screen. gives me chills every time. Like I was like, oh, oh no, when I was little, I get so bored during that. But <laughs> yeah. now it's like cool. I don't know. Probably then too. Mm-hmm. I think it was because it gave me nostalgia to when we saw John Williams in concert yeah. and how amazing that was. Mm-hmm. Hearing all of those scores, I'm yeah. like, oh, yeah. I so told you that was so cool. That was a long time ago too. I was like, but six we years also ago. we we saw an art exhibit with the Superman painting poster. Like we went to the Drew Struzan exhibit, like yeah. that stuff up, and uh-huh. then it was that other illustrator guy, and he had his Superman yeah. poster, and it was huge. It like went to the ceiling. I like the extended version of this more. That's the one I watched. There's an extended version. Yeah. I just been learned... around the earth a whole three more times. <laughs> yeah. I just learned the other day, there's a three and a half hour version of it that just came out last year on Blu-ray. What would happen? What What more is there to do yeah. in that story? I don't know. <laughs> um, the subway scene, when they're like walking through the tunnels, it's a lot longer. It's a little bit longer. You can see how Actually, it is. <laughs> <laughs> because they have more uh, things more like uh, what's his name Lex Luthor shooting at Superman when mm-hmm. he first shows up mm-hmm. he has like ice he has like lasers <laughs> like a whole bunch of weapons firing mm-hmm. at him they have a whole show bunch his more arsenal ability mm-hmm. he is a Superman he is very super and he saved Lois yes. that's actually what is good about that movie is even though he is the undefeatable he's Superman or whatever it still was like for a second you're like Oh man, it didn't work or whatever. Oh man, he couldn't save her. Yeah, so like he's just like his dad in the beginning, the one who had a heart attack. His dad had a heart attack. He's a uh, oh. well, his planet dad. blows up. I was like, we're talking about <laughs> not that one. <laughs> <laughs> his adopted dad, same same concept. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Superman. Um, Glad I didn't put that. One, it started it all. Mm-hmm. I really liked it. Um, that was my five. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So. So we're going to go on a break real quick, but first, here's a message from our sponsor. This podcast is brought to you by Anchor. 
If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Here's how. It's totally free. There are tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast from your computer and even your cell phone. But that's not all. Anchor distributes your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many, many more. You could even make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. Anchor is everything you need to make a complete podcast all in one small place. So go on and download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started today. Okay, so we're back from our break. So now we're going to hear Hunter's five superhero movies. Mm-hmm. I have them written right here on my notes. <laughs> hey, I got a binder right here. So. <laughs> so I haven't been able to watch any of these. I've been busy with school stuff. You'd think that because of coronavirus, I'd be done. A lot of my friends are done. They're just not doing anything at all. But uh, Protesting. I got AP tests. So get that crap out of the way, and then I am done. I'll I'm be graduated in three weeks. My high school career. Woo! Close that book. Wow. That'd be, that's exciting. Anyway. That's so soon. I just realized. I know. Whoa. Well, because after, like, it's technically not three weeks, but after my AP tests, and the, they said they're not going to change our grades or whatever, so. No. I need to keep showing up for the Zoom calls. No, I need to spend more time watching superhero movies. That's what. That's right. So, um, in no particular order, because I just started this out. <laughs> but um, Ant Man, actually, Ant Man, that is my favorite one. That's, so that's why I put it up. Everybody calls it. There's the the Screen Junkies um video. Oh, the they call it like uh, Little Iron Man or whatever. Uh huh. Maybe I need to actually think about why that's the joke. I should put Iron Man. Holy crap! Sorry, but um. Ant Man is just. Right now. I know. Right? <laughs> Ant Man is just solid. I love that movie. Um, Paul Rudd. He's just he's a, funny. He's a handsome, funny, great time. <laughs> I don't, that's my two cents. Also, Angelina Jolie. He's a little, a little, little guy though. He's still cut, man. He took off his shirt, and I was like, huh? You know what I'm saying? Because he was an ant. Oh. <laughs> I thought you meant it's just not like. Any of the Chris's. <laughs> like, Anyways, <laughs> any of the Chris's. <laughs> yeah. They hire all of the Chris's except for Chris Pine. Dude, they're all dummy like... So. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Ant Man's a good movie. I love the cast. It's fun. There's just a lot... There's great jokes. That's probably probably one of the first where they turned into that uh-huh. funny bone. So I guess it kind of set up the rest of the... I don't know. Actually, what, come, what came after? When did Civil War... Right after. Like right after. I think it was right after. Then I'd probably argue. Yeah. I don't know. I think Guardians, Guardians and Ant-Man. Yeah. I, I think, think they're, they're both the those ridiculous ones. Yeah, but they, they like lean into that little funny bone, which I, some people hate about the Marvel movies, but I personally, I don't care. Yeah. It's all a good time. Have you seen that ad for it? <laughs> which one? When he's singing? <laughs> no, it's no. A, Paul Rudd. He's like hitting on his knees. Yeah, and then he Michael, makes up a song. Yeah, he's like, like ants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good time too. Yes, I it's love just, that so yeah. much. So that one, and just real quick on Iron Man, I we just rewatched it a, a few months ago. Huh? It's so different from like what comes out now. Yeah, and I was like, this is a good movie. It's like um, Dark Knight level. Yeah, which that actually goes. I'll, I'll talk about this one next. Staying on Marvel, Captain America: First Avenger mm. is kind of similar, where like. They're just super distinct, just in that first era. Yeah, the from, first phase. Yeah, from like what we have now, it's totally a different movie. It's it totally different atmosphere. I mean, I think it's a natural. It's all. It's a natural project. Pro- progression. Progression. So I don't mind the change, but it was also like, like I'm enjoying this. Like this is a, this it's is solid. solid. <laughs> it's a solid time. Um, but so Captain America: First Avenger is the same. Like I could honestly watch that one all the time. It's. Mm-hmm. I just watch it even. It's it's, really it's a good. good time. I thought some of the shots were more TV movie. Mm. Um, like in the beginning when the Red Skull like goes to that big tree thing and he takes uh, out the, like there's just a couple yeah. angles where I was like I feel like it's a TV movie. And then when his his ridiculously long car. Oh yeah. What the heck? That engine <laughs> I love is like that. it's like freaking huge. But um maybe it's what it's supposed to be. Not to scratch, it's, Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> It's just, that's a little like obtuse, but maybe it's like that in the comics. But um, 
I don't know. There's just a couple shots where he, like, he pulls up and the, the thing is in frame, but it totally feels like I'm watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or something. Mm. So I was like, eh, I didn't notice that then, but I noticed it now when I watch it. But it's still, it's just a good time. I really like the ending of it. It, like, gets you right in the feels. Yeah, what the heck, man. You're like, dang. Thank but he finally, he finally gets his dance. He gets his dance. Thank you, Endgame. Spoiler Thanks, alert, game. but that was also... Everybody's seen it, <laughs> <laughs> seen it by now. You haven't seen it by now. Two billion dollars, whatever. <laughs> You've seen it by now. Yeah, so... So, yeah, good movie. I totally forgot that there's an ending to it that's pretty emotional as well. Does it open with the future? Yes. They find him. Like, they find his shield. Yeah. Like, you're gonna want to see this. Yeah, the blinking light in the Arctic, that's all I remember. Yep. Yeah. Anyway... Next movie, I'll get it out of the way. I was going to watch Hancock. It was on my list. I've never seen it. And, like, some people like it. A lot of people hate it. It's kind of like a gritty whatever, I think. I didn't watch it. I didn't have time. So that's how that went. Anyway, next <laughs> that's movie. That's your third one? <laughs> yeah, that's my third one. I haven't seen it either, so I can't add any insight I either. I just remember thinking that when it came out, the previews, I thought they were so cool. But I was also young and dumb, so... Yeah, we were like 10 years old. <laughs> or, I don't, I don't remember. Six, if you were 10. I don't know what year it came out. I didn't... You didn't watch it. So so. Number four, Man of Steel. Man of Steel? I don't like it. I just... It was the only one I could think of. <laughs> I was struggling to think of movies. So I'm Man of Steel. Um, I've only seen... That's why I picked it. I've only seen it once. Um, and the I don't remember anything about it. So I thought that was funny. I guess. No, it's not, but <laughs> nothing to talk about. I mean, that. the only thing I could think about about that one was when he kills Zod at the end, and people, like, freak Freaked out, out about that. But I was like, he was saving people. Zod was a dirtbag, dude. <laughs> Zod killed lots of other people across the world with his little sledgehammer thingies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. It was like two giant uh, spaceships. One oh. was hitting. They were, like, trying to change the curvature of it. <laughs> We're pushing Earth out of its orbit by smacking it on the side really hard. Because that makes sense. <laughs> one's in the Indian Ocean, one's in Metropolis. <laughs> and overcome the force of gravity on the sun to knock the Earth out of position. Maybe it would work out. On the sun, of the sun, on the Earth. The sun? Kal-El was the sun. Um, he was also... Did you like the fat ass or did you think it was dumb? The fat what? <laughs> Henry Cowell's fat ass. <laughs> I didn't mind as much as the the bat symbol from yeah the uh, fat bat Batman vs Superman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bat on Twinkies. <laughs> yeah, he's fat he's a husky bat. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> um, that's all I remember from that movie. I remember thinking it was super cool though. Like when they're punching each other into like yeah. buildings and dirt and crap. The action. It cool. was like. One of those were like the destruction, kind of like Avengers or like any of those. It was like the yeah. destruction is like destruction, <laughs> catastrophic. <laughs> You're like excited to watch it. You know, the only images I remember right now, maybe it's this one where the redhead lady. I don't remember her name. Lois Lane. Lois Lane, but the actress, oh Amy Adams. Amy Adams. Yeah, she comes out and they're wearing like the masks because something is deadly or something. I don't know. I don't remember if it was that one. That's all I remember. I remember saying, are we done measuring each other's... <laughs> Wait, in that movie? Yeah. Because, like, they're in... The... Oh, in the Arctic? Uh-huh. Yeah. And the scientists were, like, bickering. <laughs> like, what? That's not something Lois Lane would say. Maybe that was, like... They started swearing, and I was like, this is some... This is real life. I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> That movie didn't have an effect on me, obviously. But it was I no. still like it, maybe. Yeah. I need to watch it again. It's been a long time. It's been a fat minute. It's been a, a fat minute. A fat, been a fat bat minute. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't taking it. Okay, whatever. You make the joke. The final movie on my list. The Dark Knight. Yeah. Because it was also the only one I could think of. But I love that movie a lot, and I want everybody to watch it. It, it used to be my favorite movie. Yeah. But it's definitely what a top changed? ten. Wait, what is your favorite? Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah, that's my favorite movie. It's almost like we're related. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. I don't know what to say about it. Um, 
it's a good movie. There's nothing new to say about it. No. Because it was so great that everybody said something. But I wonder, I think it was the first superhero movie to make a billion dollars. One billion dollars. Maybe Spider Man. Probably the same movie, but man. maybe first DZ. I don't know, but it made a lot of money for mm. superhero movies. Yeah, I liked it for it being realistic. Realistic, but also not like not too far. Back, like realistic. I think. Yeah. What I liked is because it's like a Christopher Nolan movie. Yeah. Um, it's realistic, but like actually realistic. It's not like gritty because we want to be we're angsty DC teenagers <laughs> we're like like my movies <laughs> where's the bit whatever but um yes it, it was more like not be it's, it's, it's Batman you know yeah I really like his costume in that one yeah where he's actually able to turn his neck cause in the old ones uh, <laughs> from the 90s he's like yeah I'm Batman but actually <laughs> even in Batman Begins like that's true. He's still pretty. Like when he fights, he's like, "Let me look at your body." And actually, that was the thing. There, there's like this weird martial arts form that they learned for him because it's all like up close elbows stuff that they were. They like the look of it, but also it helps because he move his whole body. And he could see what was coming out. I don't know. Uh, but it's just a good movie, man. Um, they make a line about that in the Dark Knight. They're like. I want to make some modification to the costume. And Lucius Fox, he's like, oh, you want to be able to turn your head? He's like, it would make it easier backing out of the driveway. <laughs> That's just, it's pretty good. I laughed out loud and now I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, no, that's... You were right. It makes a lot of sense. It does. Um, we saw... We've seen the cows before. Like, a, yeah. from, all, from, from even Batman, Tim Burton Batman. It was, like, green um, and weird, but... I think like, I was at the Tim Burton art exhibit. Yeah. But we also saw the costume from Dark Knight at least one. Oh, yeah. Somewhere. Probably was Comic Con. Yeah. Not that I'd ever admit that I've been there. Anyway. What's wrong with that? I don't know. <laughs> yes. I gotta be cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wearing Goonie shirts. Um, anyway, do I have any thought? I, because I didn't prepare, I don't have any like solid thoughts on the movie. But it's a great time. I watched I watched a video explaining the symbolism, and I was like, wow, I would never have gotten any of that out of that. But all this, like, what is really cool is the the parallel with um, Bruce Wayne and with Harvey Dent and all mm, that going mm-hmm. on. It's like the it's just solid. Yeah. yeah. The white knight into darkness and the dark knight into... More darkness. More darkness. <laughs> <laughs> because he was the hero, then he ends being evil. Yeah, but there's just a lot going on that's, like, exciting and interesting. There's the moral dilemma with the uh, prisoners in one boat and everybody else yeah. together. That was so tense, though. Yeah. It's like the violin music. It's right. Like, <laughs> right, right. Um, I don't know. It's just a good movie. It's the kind of movie that I would recommend to my English teacher who says, I don't have time for movies, but I'll watch them if you tell me any. That would be like, yeah, I'll watch The Dark Knight. Because even if he'd be like, because his thing is like, oh, once you've seen it, you've seen them all, which is totally true. There's a lot of very similar movies out there. It's not why you watch them. You're not. Watching, I don't know. Sometimes it is, but sometimes. Um, other times it's just it's comfortable, and you know it's going to be a good time. Sometimes literature makes you face your inner demons, and that's not very exciting. But so couldn't you make the same argument about books? You could make the same argument about books because you might be like, I don't know. Like think of any of those famous movies, like or like Shawshank Redemption. That's like a, a high up on the list of like great movies. Maybe it set some of the tropes. Like, if you look to, like, Aliens or whatever, those movies were, like, setting the standard that everybody copies now, or can copy. Yeah. But even then, there are still things in... Wow, that movie's based off of a book, though. Shawshank Redemption. That's based off of a Stephen King novel. Uh, so, I don't know. I didn't even think about it. I At think... any rate, The Dark Knight. It's, it's good. <laughs> the one Watch to rule them all. <laughs> yes. Know. No, that would be... Uh... Anywho... Um, well, I got the reins. Let's sum it all up. Um, I decided to do a whole episode about superhero movies mm-hmm. because um, they've kind of taken over action movies. Right. Like everybody's going to see those now. I think it's very similar to like the westerns of mm-hmm. the fifties. Yeah, a lot of people have made that. Comparison. Monster movies of the thirties. Right. Like, mm-hmm. 
I think it's kind of just our version of it. Yeah. And it's also on its way out, so. Yeah, I think next 10 years, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Next five years. It's a I good think, time. I don't know. If, if someone were to release another, just thinking about it now, even with like, with Endgame happening, whatever, like closing that book, I really don't think we have it in, like the audience has enough interest to be like, hey, let's watch the new Marvel characters or whatever. Yeah, like, I don't. I don't know. I, I don't either. I want to watch Wonder Woman, though. Those movies, if you can keep... I'm excited for the new Wonder Woman. I agree. If you can keep making movies that are that quality, then okay, fine. I'll stick around for a little bit. Yeah. But it, it's going to get harder and harder to keep that. Like, It'll be overplayed in like the Western. Yeah. All right. Anyway... Well, thanks for doing this again, Hunter. Mm-hmm. It's a good time. Yeah, and uh, thanks for watching and listening. This has been Surfing Through Cinema with Hawaii Harry and Hunter, the couch critic. Take care. <laughs>